so hello so this is my own uh, video tutorial for the song Nadikobo 2 by Maverick City but I use the version in IBC so I use for the effects I only use uh, overdrive slight reverb and slight delay so for the intro it sounds like this <laughs> So from your 5th string on the 2nd fret, you have to slide up to 6th sixth, sixth fret. Then once you hit the 6th fret, you have to pick the ninth fret on the 5th string again. And then this one. And then you have to pick the 8th fret on the 4th string. So it sounds like this. And then once you hit this 8th this fret on the 4th string, you have to pick like this. You have to double your picking on the 8th fret, 4th string, and then pick the 6th fret on the same string, uh, I mean 6th fret on the same string, and then the 4th fret on the same string. So it sounds like this in the first part. And then on the second part, you have to slide again on the, the uh, second fret, on, still on the second fret. And then the slide up to 6th fret and on this time you have to pick the 8th fret on the 5th string then pick the 6th the fret 4th string 6th uh, string 4th uh, string on the 4th fret and 4th string on the 3rd fret so it sounds like this So if we put it all together, it sounds like this. You just you just follow the picking the picking pattern on that thing and I believe that you can get it. And then the next one is the the lead on the lead parts on the pre chorus, which is sounds like this. So to do that you have to we have to pick um, the sixth fret on the fourth string and then the third string on the eighth fret. So it sounds like this. You have to double pick the the second string always in on, on this part. So this is the first finger and then this is your second string. So you we only use two strings on this. So this is every every time you hit the second string, you need to double double your. Uh, you have to pick it twice. So sounds like this from the sixth fret, fourth string, and then on the eighth fret, third string. So once you hit this um, eighth fret, you have to hit now the the third string on the sixth fret and then hit so it sounds like this after this one you have to pick the ninth fret on the second string twice again so it sounds like this now so that, that's how it sounds and then from here The next one is in the same pattern, same chord shapes, so and same picking. Here we will we will pick the the fourth string on the fourth fret and the third string on the sixth fret. Then same again, fourth third string on the fourth fret and then second string on the seventh fret. So, so 
so this is this is how it goes so far and then we have to slide this is the last part of the pre-chorus we have to slide this one the fourth string on the sixth fret slide up to the eighth fret so once we slide we have to pick then uh, the tenth fret on the third string so it sounds like this so so when we hit the um, eighth fret fourth string we have to do like this i will just slow it down so so you can copy it well so dun, 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 dun. so after that we have to um bar this fourth and third string and then mute the other strings so we have to strum it so on this one so from here these two strings should only be the one that is producing sounds while the rest are just mute and then from here we, we will use octave the octave is on E F F sharp and then this is on your finger the first first finger is on the eleventh uh, fret fourth string and then your second finger is on the fourteenth fret second string and these two should only be the one who's producing sounds while the others are just muting. So it sounds like this. And to strum this one just like just like this. That's it. So if I play it again, so it sounds like this. Again, again. So that is how it sounds. So that's that's for the intro and pre-chorus and all that style pattern for the guitar is still the same even until the end of the song just maybe just a slight difference at the end and then on the chorus part it sounds like this <laughs> So to do that, you just have to copy my original video, but I will show you the exact notes on that. So this is the, the we will use octave again for the whole chorus, and then it sounds like oh you have to pick pick the eighth fret fourth string and the eleventh fret second string. So these two strings should only be producing sounds while the rest are just mute and then we have to do like this so from this part you just move one fret and then back again you just repeat the process then we have to then we have to stay on this part a little bit and then the second part of the chorus will come in this part it's still the same the 11th fret 4th string and the 14th fret 2nd string so so to put it all together in the chorus it sounds like this so all the chorus sounds like that it's all the same and now 
I believe in IBC version. There's a there's a clear guitar riff something or guitar part. And it sounds like this. So to do that in the verse I think that that happens in verse 2. So from 11th fret we have to pick the 13th fret first string and then the 14th fret twice and then pick again the 11th fret and then pick the 11th fret and hammer to third I mean 11th fret hammer to the thir 13th fret sorry so 11th fret 13th fret 14th fret so it sounds like this so After that, you have to hammer the 11th fret to 13th fret. Hammer and pull off. So. After that, we have to pick the 11th fret 2nd string and then pick the 12th fret 2nd string. Okay, so, so it sounds like this. Then after that, we have to hammer, I mean... So hammer and hammer and pull off. Uh, it's like on the down, down, down side or down part. So, so from after you pick this one, we have to do this. So from the eleventh fret, we have to hammer and then pull off. Hammer and pull off on the eleventh fret then 12th fret and then here on the 10th fret and 11th uh, 9th fret and 11th fret so from 11th fret then 9th fret to 11th fret and then 7th fret to 9th fret and then you have to pick for the last two notes the 4th string on the 9th fret and then 4th string on the 8th fret so it sounds like this So it sounds like that. And then the verse 2 with pre chorus is still the same, and then the chorus part is still the same. Now we go to the bridge part, which I only which I just improvise these lead parts, which in the origin in original song it, it it was not there. So so what I did in the bridge part is just like this. So this is 14th fret, 13th fret, and then 11th fret on the first string, just three notes. And then on the last part of the bridge where you go, where you go to, I mean the last part of this one, you, the, the, it sounds like this. Before you, before you, before you can, before you enter into that part, on the last part of the bridge, instead of Instead of doing that, we have to stop at the eleventh fret. So then end on here. After that, so on the thirteenth fret, we have to strum two uh, two chords each on the fifth string and on the sixth string. So on the first the first first two chords on the, f the I think it's D but I just use this instead of this one I just use this two so 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 from D to D flat or D sharp or E D sharp or E flat it's the same so and then A A to A sharp still the same last part of the bridge part where you where you where it's near to the chorus part again instead of doing this one we have to 
use the octave again on this part and it sounds like this so I hope you can see my fingers so this is on the last part of the chorus actually so to do that we have to our first finger on the 8th fret 4th string and on our and our second finger or our ring finger on the 11th fret 2nd string so what we do is from here on this 8th fret it's the same pattern same octave pattern we have to go back down full step and then full step again we have, we have to go back or just yeah. and then half step on this one and then full step again so from 8th fret to 6th fret to 5th fret oh, I mean so 8th fret 6th fret 4th fret 4th fret 2nd fret and then 1st fret so it sounds like this so make sure that the two strings should only be producing the sounds while the other strings are mute muted so it sounds like this i will just play it back and then after that that's the last part of the bridge or or yeah and then now we after you've done this part here now we're, we're going back to the last part of the chorus so from here we have to slide slide again to the 8th fret same octave and then do the chorus part thingy so. so instead of starting at the 8th fret we have to start at the 9th fret octave same 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 chord shape on this your finger So it sounds like this. We just keep on repeating and doing that. So from and then once you're going back to here, you have, you have to start at the tenth, ninth fret, and then to eighth fret. Okay, just learn it and then go back to my original video to to see the difference. And then on the last part of the intro, it sounds like this. It's the same part, but it's just a slight. There's a, just a slight difference. So. <laughs> one is on the sorry on the eighth fret third string I mean seventh fret third string and then you have to pick the third string on the eighth fret and that's the end so I will slow I'll try to slow them down again all of them so intro <laughs> chorus in the IBC version and then the bridge part it 
just keep on doing it and then the last part and then you have to strum the D and the D sharp and A and the A sharp and then the chorus in the last part part in the intro in the in the outro intro something <laughs> so it sounds like this so that's all and if you have any questions just comment and i will be willing to answer all of them thank you and god bless